Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> so, please join us as we uh, unpack the cabin from the winter. Nobody's been here for three months, and it's all locked up, and it's cold, and I'm sure it's damp. So, we're going to get the heater on, and hopefully warm things up. Yes! <laughs> okay, here we are. She looks just like I left her. Nice and tidy. With our Murphy bed back there. And there's the heater. It's a propane uh, direct outdoor vent heater. That's, that's why Bob was lugging that giant propane tank up here. It lasts quite long with this heater. It can control the heat fairly well. So I'm off to now try and light it and get things unpacked. Okay. The heater lit right away. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. It hasn't been going for three months, but yes, yes, it's a go. So we're gonna get warmed up in here. It's pretty chilly out, but the sun's now tried to come out, so it's a super bonus. Um, I'm really One of the things I've been wanting to do is to try to make a loaf of, of regular bread, of artisan crusty bread in the Dutch oven. And what I'm going to do is a no knead bread. And I've done this at home in the Dutch oven in my oven. And it's, I, I do it regularly. And it's terrific bread. So I want, really wanted to try to do it on fire today and do it in the campfire Dutch oven. Okay. Now I seem to have got it to the right consistency. That's really quite sticky and that's okay. We just leave it like that. And I cover it with saran and come back to it in about three hours. Okay, well it's been about three hours. It's um, after four o'clock and uh, there's a lot of light reflected off the lake down here, but it won't be long before it's getting dark. So the fire looks great. I think we've got some really nice coals in there. Well, if I was at home instead of out here, I would be turning the oven on to 450 degrees because the instructions for making this bread are that the cast iron reaches that temperature. So what I'm going to do now is pull out some coals and set the cast iron to heat up so that when I bring the bowl down I'll just lift out the parchment with the bread on it and pop it into the uh, hot hot cast iron and start baking. We're going to see how this goes. <laughs> anyway, anyway it's always fun. I, I love to try new things and um, I've done a some baking in the cast iron before, but I haven't done like an artisan uh, bread loaf. So something different, but this is the fun part for me. I like the actual cooking on the fire. All right, get these, put this on here and fairly level. Put some of these on top. So now I'm going to go back up to the cabin because I can see that we've got lots of coals and I think I'm going to uh, carry on with the bread even if it's not doubled because it's going to be dark and I'm not really wanting to sit out here and bake bread this evening. Here's the dough and now we turn it out onto a well floured surface. Oh it's definitely risen. It's nice and soft but I can feel, I can feel that it's been rising. Place the dough into a lined bowl, lined with parchment, and we'll put in a few little snips. Whoa. 
Wow, that's hot. Baking in progress. Look at that. You wonder what's happening inside there. Everything that comes out of this Dutch oven that I've done, and it's not very many things, probably four times I've tried to bake something, it's always a shock. It's always a surprise. So let's see what today brings. Okay, 15 minutes have gone by. So let's give it a turn and maybe a quick peek. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I probably won't be able to resist. Okay, I'm just gonna have a quick look. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's burning. <laughs> Well, hmm. Yes. Isn't that interesting? I've never seen the parchment do that. And it burned on the bottom. So it was too hot. All right. Live and learn. Take it off that. You know, it's not really cooked through. So let's put this back on. Well, this is a disappointment. <laughs> but what can I say? Um, it's, I'm just putting some coals on the top and taking it away from the fire. I guess I had too much heat coming in. But that's, that's a lesson, right? It's, um, you never know until you try. And I tried and it doesn't look like it was very successful but what I'm going to do is I put some um, coals back on the top just to let it keep baking because I expect it's probably raw in the middle and I'm going to try and salvage something out of it so uh, here we go uh, it could be a, an absolute disaster but we can share disasters <laughs> it's all right that just means you have to try it again well, it looks like the bread did not turn out too well. But I'm making dinner now, and I'm hopefully going to have a lot more success with that. What I think I did differently was that I preheated the Dutch oven because that's what it was suggested when I would do it at home. I think it'd be much better if I didn't do that because I've never seen the parchment burn before, even in the Dutch oven on the fire. So that tells me the bottom was way too hot. So um, next time, and I will do it the next time I come up here, is I'm going to try, um, try this again, not preheat the Dutch oven. So before it gets too dark, here's dinner. We're going to have some potatoes done in foil on the fire coals, some steak, which I'll put on the grill, and some mixed vegetables. So that looks pretty good. Thank goodness I wasn't dependent on the bread for dinner. That's on with the steak. Oh yes, listen to that. <laughs> well, things are sizzling. <laughs> it's got to be better than the bread. I think I should stick to making dinner. I think that's going to be great. Um, and give up baking. Well, till the next time. I promise you, I'm doing it again. Okay, here's dinner. Oh. I think uh, oh. this turned out maybe better than the bread, and that's what we're eating tonight, so we won't go hungry. <laughs> well, good morning. Here we are. <laughs> well, some may not consider this winter camping, but I gotta tell you, it seems pretty winter camping to me. It's uh, probably just above freezing, and uh, the wind is making it really cold. So, it's time for breakfast. Okay, ham and egg muffins this morning. And some cheese too. We're gonna get packed up here after breakfast and head home as it's not exactly a day for lying about beside the lake. <laughs> Unless you have about at least four layers of clothes. Okay. Those look pretty darn good. But we're going back inside to eat 
This outdoor kitchen is um, very breezy this morning. Well, we're all locked up, tidied up, and secured. So it's time to leave, and uh, thanks for coming along with us. I can't wait for the weather to get better, and I'll be up here a lot more. Just a perfect place to come for a day or two or three of uh, reprieve, rest, restoration, and fun. So, see you again soon.